Hey internet, this is Jessie, and today I wanted to talk about testosterone. Um, and also my voice. Mainly my voice, that's really what this video is about. Um, so I filmed a video for this earlier, actually, but I wanted to refilm it because in class today we watched a documentary called Do I Sound Gay? Which I believe you can find on Netflix. Um, you should definitely check it out. Gave me a lot more thoughts about this topic, so I wanted to refilm it and add in those thoughts. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about my voice, and uh, there's a couple parts to this. Mainly, I want to have a deeper voice. I um, have always been relatively uncomfortable with my voice. Ever since I was a little kid, like, I can distinctly re remember recording my voice for a book report on my mom's old tape recorder. And I was playing it back, and I just remember distinctly thinking that my voice sounded like a girl's, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that my voice sounded high-pitched. So I've always been self-conscious about my voice and thought that my voice sounded higher than it should. And I also think that my voice sounds different, like, to me than it does to other people, which is true for, like, across the board. But, um, even when I think I'm sounding relatively deep, um, like, my voice is sounding relatively deep. I watch myself, um, on, like, my videos. I try to speak with a lower tone on a lot of my videos just because, like, that's the way I tend to present myself. And even when I re-watch the videos, like, I can tell that my voice doesn't sound as deep on the video as it did in my head when I was speaking. So I want a deeper voice, and pretty much the one way to get this is through testosterone. And so I've thought a lot about taking testosterone, and there are other aspects to testosterone um, that I would like, but there's also parts of it that I don't really care about, and parts of it that I don't want. So there's upsides and downsides with testosterone, but one of the main reasons that I want to do testosterone is so that my voice gets deeper. But I've been thinking about why I want my voice to be deeper, and the positives and negatives of that a lot lately. So, first of all, if you watch videos on my channel, then you know that I like to sing, and it's a big part of my life now, and I don't want to go on testosterone and then lose my singing voice. At the same time, I have issues with my present singing voice, so objectively, I think I have a good singing voice, but I don't like my voice. And what I mean by that is that if I were to listen to someone else singing with my singing voice, I would think, oh, they sound good, but I don't like the fact that it is me personally that sounds that way, because I think that I sound rather high-pitched, and I think that I sound feminine, and I don't like sounding feminine. On the other hand, I really want a deeper voice, because a lot of the times I think that I pass as male until I talk. When I talk, it's usually what outs me or labels me as female in people's brains, and then I get the mans instead of sirs and stuff like that. And that's always kind of made me uncomfortable. Like, I just don't like when people assume my gender. And since I identify as non-binary, like, technically they're always gonna assume my gender, but I'd rather they assume that I'm male than I'm female. Because of that, I want a deeper voice so people are more likely to assume that I'm male. In regards to this though, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, especially with this documentary, because the documentary, um, like I said, it's called Do I Sound Gay? And it's about this gay guy and his struggle with the fact that his voice sounds gay. And it brought up a lot of questions. It made me think of the whole concept of voice and the trans community, right? So with a lot of trans women, they don't sound like females typically um, and they have to do like voice training and stuff like that because taking estrogen doesn't change their voice. But for trans males a lot of times taking testosterone lowers their voice enough that they feel comfortable with it. A lot of trans women nowadays especially are finding trouble with this fact that society expects them to sound feminine and stuff like that and like why should they be forced to alter their voices to fit society's stereotypes of what a woman should sound like kind of idea. And I'm totally like all for that and I think that people should be able to just exist as they are and how they want to exist and be recognized for how they want to identify regardless of their appearance or perceived appearance to other people. So on the opposite side, I've been thinking, well, why shouldn't trans men be able to sound feminine? Or what we assume is sounding like a female, 
right? And why can't trans men question why they have to sound male? And then I thought about that in regards to myself. Why do I feel this pressure to sound male? I know that I am non-binary and a trans guy and that I identify more along the male side of the spectrum. But still, I feel this need to prove to society that I am male. Like, is that the only reason that I want a deeper voice? I feel like that's pretty much what the question and the point of this video is, was basically I just wanted to rant at the camera about, like, stereotypes and voices and why do we force people to sound certain ways, why are we so self-conscious of how we sound, and I, I don't know. I don't have like answers for this, as you can probably tell, and I'm still trying to like question it and figure things out for myself because like obviously if I start testosterone and my voice gets lower, it's not gonna go back to the way it was, so if I like lose my singing voice then like I'm shit out of luck. It would really be awful for me, but at the same time like currently now I'm uncomfortable with the way that I am perceived because of my singing voice um, and want to change that but it's kind of like this catch-22 situation you know like do I not do anything and then regret it years from now or do I do something and then regret it years from now or possibly now like I could regret both decisions now too so yeah, I've just been thinking a lot about that and like wondering, you know, is the only reason I want a deeper voice because society determined that all males should have deeper voices, which obviously isn't even true because um, like the gay voice is most of the time like a feminine, it's like a high pitched feminine voice um, and that's why people think that certain people are gay is because they sound more like a female which is not even true because that's just a stereotype and it only applies to certain people but, like obviously there's differences in voices and like women can have more deeper voices and stuff like that but then again there are certainly like ranges within I don't even know I don't know I'm just ranting now I don't know what I'm saying basically why is there like a difference and like should there be a difference should society classify people like that like is that another thing that we need to work on do we need to work on not only not perceiving people to be certain genders because of certain identifiers but also like including voice as one of those identifiers probably that's kind of what I feel like I'm getting at but also even if I do like train myself and force myself to think that way right to think that way about other people like oh they're a trans guy but their voice is really high pitched, but they don't want it lower. Like, that's fine. They're still a trans guy. Like, that doesn't affect their identity. But for myself, will I still want a deeper voice? Like, where does that want come from? Is there something there other than just society's push for it to sound more male? Because even though I say, like, oh, I've always wanted my voice to sound deeper, like, was that because as a kid, like, I wanted to be a boy and I didn't really realize that connection until now? Or was it, you know, like, where's the line between, like, I want to be what society perceives a boy is and I want to be a boy? Like, where do those two ideas separate? I don't know <laughs> what you may have gotten from this video, but if anything that I said rang a bell in your head, <laughs> rhymes, um, or made you think of something, made you react, let me know in the comments down below, um, you know, like, how do you think about your voice? How do you think about your voice in terms of, like, society's expectations and stereotypes? If you're trans, like, how do you feel about your voice and, like, taking hormones and things like that? Like it if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. There will also be a link to my previous video in this corner. Um, where me and my roommate made our last meal with milk because I'm now milk allergic. Thank you for watching and sticking around this long. I'm sorry if I bored you and if I didn't, you're welcome. <laughs> that is so weird. Also, I got a cat. His name's Baron. He doesn't like to be held apparently. I just wanted to introduce you to my followers. <laughs>